morning. Time for another Guru's Rants. I see my rants have been pissing people off. Uh, I see that my training's been pissing people off. So that means I'm doing something right. <clears throat> I've also been getting a lot of messages from a lot of people in a lot of different lineages of C-Lot thanking me for these rants and thanking me for all the positive uh, things I've shared with them so far. So for you that like these videos and you have subscribed to these videos, I want to thank you personally and I want to tell you that more really cool stuff is coming. A lot of cool stuff. Not just rants, there'll be some training stuff. There'll also be uh, interviews with some really good people. <laughs> Anyhow, we're going to continue a rant today. Uh, a couple things I want to talk about. It was brought to my attention that um, nobody has taken the $1,000 challenge. So I'm going to reiterate the $1,000 challenge. It's really simple. It has nothing to do with ego. It has nothing to do with me trying to think that I'm better than anyone else. Because I'm not. I'm human just like everybody else. <clears throat> the challenge is you have to disarm the knife from my hands all you can wear is goggles eye protective wear or sunglasses you have no weapons you're just empty handed and I come at you with the knife the way somebody would come at you with the knife in prison so if you're confident in your C-Lot in your Kali in your Krav Maga and whatever else you do and you feel that you can disarm this knife, this training blade, without getting cut or without getting a mark on you, because the knife will have a, a red coloring on it, and if that red coloring is on your shirt, on your any part of your body or your vitals, you've been cut. That simulates the cut. So if you can disarm the knife, or if you think that you can disarm the knife, without getting a single red mark on any part of your body, then you would get the thousand dollars. I have yet to meet any martial art teacher or master that can do this. And humbly, I have never challenged the teachers I've trained with out of respect to them. But because some of them have turned out to be megalomaniac, narcissistic, egomaniacs, now I'm challenging them. Take the challenge. Make the thousand dollars. It'll be the easiest thousand dollars you've ever made. I heard from one guy yesterday that a so-called Mahaguru of Sirach said that he could easily take my knife away from me. Well, I challenge you, Mahaguru. Make the thousand dollars. I'll pay you. I'll pay you cash. If you could take the knife away from me without getting a single mark on you, then you deserve a thousand dollars cash. So, to the Maha Gurus of Sarak and the Maha Gurus and Maha Sohos from Maha Yoyos from all the other martial arts, I challenge you to take the thousand dollar challenge to disarm my knife, my training blade. All you can wear is goggles. That's the only protective gear you have. And you have just your empty hands. And I'm going to come at you with the knife the way somebody in prison would come at you. And I want to see if you can disarm my knife without getting touched, without getting cut, without getting marked by the blade. I had a very famous colleague person, and I'm not going to say names because I do like him and I do respect him, that we were playing one time with the colleague and it was great with the sticks. He was fantastic. He was kicking my ass. And then we, he said he wanted to play with a knife. He had a training blade. I had a training blade. Now, he's a grandmaster in Kali. He's been training in Kali probably well over 30 years. He came at me, and I came at him. And I came at him not as an instructor, not as a student, but uh, I came at him with the same blood that runs in my veins as the blood in the streets of Caracas. Anyhow, my training blade cut his arm. He was bleeding. 
and he said to me, fuck that, I'm not doing that, uh, I'll just stick with the stick work with you, he goes, I don't like fucking around with C-Lot guys, now this same Kali person, one time, challenged one of my instructors, and he had the stick, my instructor had no weapons, my instructor laid him out on the floor, and the guy was humbled after that, and decided to give my instructor a seminar, and pay my instructor to teach him, so my whole point with this rant is this, get off your fucking high horses, you're a human being, you piss and shit like everybody else, just because you've been doing years of a martial art, doesn't make you fucking Superman, okay, you're still, you're still basically, uh, you know, fragile in a lot of ways, all right, it doesn't matter how much you lift weights, or even if you're on steroids, or on testosterone therapy, the blade is going to cut you, okay, even if you think that you've got all the fancy disarms in the world, the blade is going to touch you and cut you, so I challenge you, all you super gurus, Maha Super Avengers, to take my thousand dollar challenge, <coughs> I'll give you a thousand dollars cash if you can disarm my knife without getting a single mark on you. <laughs> so, the challenge is out there. It's been two weeks. Nobody has actually taken the challenge. I wonder why. So, Mr. Maha Guru, Maha Pendakar, since you say you can easily take my knife away from me, I'd like to see you try it. I'll pay you the money. My, I'm, my word is right. And you know I'm telling you the fucking truth. So stop talking shit. Everybody looks good and complacent. When you're training martial arts, everybody looks good when you have a complacent partner that's just feeding you the punch. Okay? All these Mahagurus, I've trained with everyone in the Silak community. Everyone. Almost everyone. And they all look fucking great when you just hold the punch out for their, for them. And a lot of times we do it out of respect because we're learning the art. You know, when a student goes to train, at least the way I was brought up and my upbringing, is you show respect. You know, you, you throw the punch, you're not trying to take the instructor's head off and, and the instructor's teaching. The problem I have is when the instructors now think that a student who also has been doing martial arts all their life all of a sudden doesn't have any skill. So, I'm going to call out these super Mahagurus, super Pendakars. I'm going to tell you this. You're not better than anybody else. You just look better because you have students that don't know what they're doing. And you have students that look like shit. I was in private with you. And I was able to understand what you were teaching because I had already seen the entire curriculum from Pendecker Paul de Tours line. So I knew what you were talking about. I understood what you were talking about. Out of humility <coughs> and out of fooling your dumb ass, I didn't let you think I let you think you I didn't know anything. I did that on purpose. But you know what? And I do that on purpose to find out if this person is somebody I could learn from. And yes, I learned some things from you for sure, but I didn't learn everything I know from you. Before I even came to you, I had already trained a shitload of martial arts. I've been training martial arts since I was a kid. And yes, I've been in fights as, as well. Grew up fighting. Just because you have a title, a certificate, a fancy sarong, just because you have a tattoo on your arm doesn't mean fucking shit. Some of your students now are getting the tattoo on your arm. And guess what? They look like fucking shit. They look terrible. So, yeah, I'm kind of angry. I'm angry because I find out that you're talking shit about me when I just helped you out, brought you in for seminars, gave you money, helped you, helped spread the word about you. Now, here's the problem, is that this particular Maha Super Pendakar, Super Guru, right, talks shit about his elders, when his teacher died, didn't go to the funeral, 
you know, you didn't pay your respects to the family that you learned the art, all the knowledge that you got came from them, not from you. You didn't invent anything. So here's the problem I have is how can you respect somebody who doesn't respect other people? Okay, you want to use the title Mahaguru. You're not a Hindu saint. You're not a saint, you know. So why even use those titles? Why not just call yourself coach? All right. And then you have the audacity to talk bad about my teacher, Uncle Willem de Toires, who's been doing martial arts for 70 years before you were even in diapers, before I was in diapers. I recognize that I don't know shit compared to Uncle Willem de Toires, but you have a hard time recognizing the fact that you don't know shit compared to Uncle Willem de Toires. You think you know, but you don't know. You're not man enough to empty your cup to go find out if the old man can actually still teach you something. I've heard you say several times that you're that you're second to none. Okay. <clears throat> so you're God's gift to the art, right? How come your students look like shit? How come I've met your students that have been with you for 10, 12, 13, 14 years and they still don't know how to do a sapu or a sweep? How come they still look like shit? How come your students still don't know the curriculum that Paul taught you? How come you, yourself, and your students don't know the curriculum that Uncle Maurice taught or that Uncle Willem taught or teaches. So this is a call out to you, Maha Super Guru Pendakar. <clears throat> I am not your student. Not anymore. I don't need to be. I learned what I needed to see from you. And you taught me some good things. And I thank you for that. And I wish you health. I wish you wealth. I wish you prosperity. But you need to get off your damn fucking high horse and realize that you're just as human as I am. Okay? And you piss and bleed and shit just like I do. You're not fucking special. You're just like everybody else. And no, you cannot disarm my knife. You can try. You want to try? You can bring it. I'll give you the $1,000. Let's do it.